Namaskar, brothers and sisters. Okay, let's do it. This is going to be a short and strange video. video. I'm somewhere near Belgrade, I think 20 kilometers from Belgrade, sitting in my little car, in my little Ford, waiting for a friend. Fortunately, it's a female friend. I prefer females friend than males. And I had to make, a, I have to make a sm small short of, uh, video because I don't want to uh, neglect my channel. So, okay, I left London. I bought another bike, XJ900 version, the old school, the la one of the very last ones, four cylinders, air-cooled engines. Motorcycles, Yamaha, actually Suzuki as well was uh, making this kind of bikes. Suzuki Bandit, huh? cooled by oil and air. So I, I took that bike from London to Serbia and I decided to import it. Serbia, which I never did before because I just didn't have to put a Serbian number plate on my motorcycles. But this time I decided to do it. Ah, that was a great adventure, great experience. I arrived around two o'clock in the morning uh, at the Croatian Serbian border. And you have to declare the motorcycle when it enters the first time into Serbia because Serbia is not is easy country. So there, are, the procedure is complicated. So I declare my bike. That was a little bit all chaotic because I passed the the, the, the border. And then I have to come back around the fence to actually to go out of Serbia again and then enter again and go through the uh, some special control where the only lorries and trucks go. They call I, I forgot how it's called. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, and then. And then I have I have to go to some offices. Okay, to cut the long story short, everything was okay. Two o'clock in the morning. No? So I'm declaring my motorcycle to the border. That's the first step if you want to import it to that country called Serbia. And then they found out then my ID, Serbian ID. I have double nationality, I have Spanish. I enter with the Spanish uh, passport. Uh, is uh, run out. Is <laughs> one year ago, my ex Serbian ID was uh, kaput, finished. So only as a Serb, in this case, I can import the bike, not as Spanish and my ID was expired that was sorted out 50 euros the number stays the same when you get a new ID so they just didn't care yeah man unbelievable so I got the right papers I got into the country then I went to the customs. So second step. It's only that is the first step. Then the second step step to, to declare it to the customs. And this is crazy. You have only seven days if you declare it at the border to declare it after at the customs officials. I don't know what, what's going on. You have only seven days. 
So they have to homologate the bike and, and to value the bike and decide how much you have to pay. So it, it will be, um, the bike will be ready to get after registration on Serbian number plate. Uh, listen this, you have to have to register the bike as well. Normal procedure. MOT, registration, getting a registration plate. Ah, this is crazy world. This, this world is crazy and so corrupted. It's amazing. And after this uh, a false um, false two years of <laughs> false fear of the f of invisible enemy who's flying around until eight o'clock and then after eight o'clock he disappears he had a certain um, uh, level as well I mean at it, you know he, he, he would fly only I think ab above one meter and 20 centimeters that famous thing which came from China and then when he got this incredible solution man I would like to talk about that but I can't because the YouTube will destroy it I mean, YouTube will not destroy, but you will take down my, my video. Okay. I took the bike to the customs and left it there in a... them. But if you, do, do, if you don't do it within seven days, the fine is fine. You pay fine. 1,500 euros. If you don't do it. Imagine something happens to you or, or you just can't reach, can't comply with the terms. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I, I uh, surrender my motorcycle, Yamaha XG, XJ 900 diversion, the seventh day at 9.30, it was until 10. I had time until 10. And I surrendered it at 9.30. And it was nice. Now applying for the new ID, Serbian ID, which will be, I don't know, on Wednesday. So I'm a little bit, I don't know. Not bored, but waiting here. Yeah? So I thought maybe it would be a good idea to make one YouTube video for my channel because I really neglected it. Um, brothers and sisters, I don't know what to tell you. But one thing I can tell you. Baba's power is not a joke. It's not an imagination. It's not fantasy. It's not. Baba's presence, Baba's energy is very real. Now, yeah, now somebody will accuse me of selling my uh, uh, spirituality, my philosophy to others. No, I, I, I only can be honest. Like many YouTubers are. Just speak out. From your heart. I, I picked up some Syrian uh, radio station, station. It's absolutely great music. Listen. Wow, that's nice. The Mascar brothers and sisters. 
I hope uh, I'll make another video soon. I'm lazy a little bit. I wish you all the best. Keep faith. Spread love. And if you want, remember, Baba Nam Kevalam. <laughs> Baba Nam Kevalam. Baba Nam Kevalam. Namaskar. <laughs>